What's happening everybody, Rod J back again to take a look at another beer. This time I'm going to take a look at one from Lagunitas. This is the Censored, aka the Chronic, the Censored Rich Copper Ale from Lagunitas. This comes in at 6.7% ABV. IBU on this one is 35. I've not had this one before, so definitely uh, looking forward to checking it out. Doesn't really have any more details, as you can see on it, kind of your standard label from uh, Lagunitas there. So let's go ahead and get it open and get it into a glass. See what this beer has to offer. So there we go, pretty decent pour. It's definitely got that nice color you expect to get for an, an uh, American Amber Ale. You got a lot of carbonation taking place. You can definitely see all the carbonation racing up to that head that sits barely off-white, uh, kind of a almost a bone type color. Get a little there, got some pretty good clarity. You can see through to the other side, but look at all that action. Sits as a nice, pretty much copper penny type color. You get into the light, it does add a little more illumination to it, and you can just pretty much see through uh, with a little bit of a brightness behind it to highlight everything, but uh, kind of that amber sunset type color you'd expect. It's got a malty aroma, definitely getting a lot of the sweetness coming off the malts. Not getting too much of the hops, usually with Lagunitas beers you pick up the hoppiness and some of that dankness, but this one has that a little more hidden again at the 35 I believe I said IBU you um, expect it to be more malt forward but it's there it doesn't come out fully as strong as some of the other beers but you can definitely pick it up pretty easily as far as the taste well the taste on is pretty smooth you're not getting hit with too much bitterness you have that malt taste of kind of the smoothness uh, without the bitterness being there not too much of a bite on the initial kind of a slight sting to the tip of the tongue on the back end not really much of a dry beer texture is pretty good no thinness in there um, does seem to hold up well in that regard starting to see a little bit of the lacing as it breaks down the heads down to about a finger now body on it more of a medium body beer no real carbonation burn in place not really too much of an astringency, but like I said, the big thing with the texture, not as dry, but with an amber ale like this, you kind of expect it. Definitely one for the malt fans. If you're a malt fan, uh, you'll, you'll probably like this one. I think it's pretty solid. It's a good, uh, decent amber ale. It's uh, kind of a middle of the road type one for me on this one. Not knocking me back, but definitely not knocking me down either. Just not one that, you know, I would push hard to get, but if I'm at a bar somewhere or I picked it up, I'd be okay to drink it with no issue. Could easily drink, you know, a six pack of these and be fine. No disappointment factor really in there, but doesn't really push the envelope, uh, to, so to speak. Move the needle, as they sometimes say. But it does what it's supposed to do to be a enjoyable type beer. Um, again, this is Lagunitas. The censored rich copper ale, a decent beer, not overly great, but nowhere near being disappointing. If you've had it before, let me know what you think. Put some comments in the comment section. Let me know what your thoughts were on that one. But with that all being said, there's not much more for me to really tell on this beer. So I'm going to go ahead and finish drinking this. I appreciate you swinging by, and I will catch up with you next time. Keep drinking good craft beers. Cheers.